Greetings, sucker maniacs, to another installment of Weekend Wank Shop. You know, it's the holiday season when everybody is giving and receiving gifts, and I know deep down what every young shred eye knight wants most of all a nice, shiny set of balls, just like their Uncle Ben's. Like these right here. What did you think I was talking about? Get your head out of the gutter. And you can receive these as well. That's right, sucker maniacs. A nice, shiny set of hand-swirled ornament balls made by your old pal here, Uncle Ben, in the same fashion as those fabulous guitars you see me playing all the time. They can be yours, if you can play this week's lick better than all your fellow suckamaniacs. Check it out. <laughs> That's right, kids, you can own a little piece of your Uncle Ben if you can outshred the competition. And here's how you're going to do it. Watch this video, learn this week's lick real good, and then upload a video of you playing it to your maximum capacity to Instagram and hashtag it Weekend Wank Shop. You can also tag me on there, at Ben Eller Guitars, that way I'm sure that I'll see it. I'm going to watch all the submissions and determine who shreds the hardest and send them a pair of very festive swirled holiday ornaments. Uh, this video will go public Friday, December 12th, and uh, I'm going to leave until Wednesday, December 17th, 2014, for you to enter your submission. So after Wednesday, the 17th of December, 2014, the polls will be closed. So work real hard this weekend, learn this lick, upload a video, and you can win something special to brighten up your holidays. This lick is hotter than the heat of a thousand menorahs, so let's go ahead and dig right into it. Here's the same lick at speeds so slow that even the dumbest elf in Santa's workshop could understand it. Today's lick is based around the A minor scale, and is a great one to play over an A minor chord during Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, or all holidays. The A minor scale is nothing but natural notes, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So I'm going to lead you through the alphabet here and show you how to play this lick. It starts off on the root note of an A minor chord, which is A, and it ends on a big old bend to the root note A again. And uh, it makes a few stops along the way on a few E notes, which is a part of an A minor chord, the fifth specifically. We'll learn about chord construction sometime, but trust me, it's in there. Today's lick is a great example of how we can take one idea and play it in several different octaves on the guitar to construct licks that are cooler than Frosty the Snowman's butthole. You've heard Paul Gilbert do similar licks to this. I've also heard my guitar player, Phil Sanifer, that plays in my rock and roll band, Far, Far Away scope us out. I've heard him do some pretty similar licks to this one too. Uh, I just kind of ripped this one off from him, spice it up a little bit for you guys. So let's check this out. Okay, so it's important to know these octave positions across the fretboard. It keeps you from always starting runs off on the E string. A lot of guitar players only learn notes across the low E string and maybe the A string. So anytime they're thinking about, say, an A minor scale, they always think of starting here. But if you know where you can find octaves of that same note, I can start that scale pattern off anywhere or here. Uh, here's, here's how this is going to go. Check this out. So every part of this lick is going to start off on an A note. The first one begins on the fifth fret E string. So we're going to play the lick there. I'll show you how it goes in a second. The next section of the lick starts off on the 7th fret D string. So I've just basically gone up two frets from where I was a second ago. 5th fret E, 7th fret D. And then the third section of the lick is going to start off on the 10th fret on the B string, on that A note. So these are all different A's. we got like a low A, a middle A, and a high A. I recommend taking a second and just jumping through the octaves like that, leading with your pointer finger, because that's how we're going to be playing it in the lick and jump in between those octaves just so you can kind of build a map out. 5th fret E, 7th fret D, 10th fret B. 5th fret E, 7th fret D, 10th fret B. 
all A's. Take a minute and play up and down that for a little while and familiarize yourself with that. When you feel comfy jumping around like that, jump into the next section here and start learning this lick. All right, Meow, let's go ahead and start digging into this lick and learn how to play this thing. It's based off of this A minor pattern starting here on the 5th fret E string. Here's how it goes. A, B, C, D, E, F. It's the alphabet. Fret number Y, so that's 5, 7, 8 on the E string. 5, 7, 8 on the A string. Notice I'm using my little finger here. For God's sakes, just use that little finger, or else you'll end up on my naughty list. A lot of guitar players struggle with using their little finger, and nine times out of ten, it's just because they don't really use it enough. They think it sucks, so they don't use it, so then it always sucks. Uh, if that guy's sitting on the bench the whole game, how can he ever get any better? You know, Put him on the field every now and then. It'll improve. Anyway, so we got uh, 578, 578. That's our little scale pattern this lick is based off of. <laughs> And that's how the lick starts off. 578 on the E, 578 on the A. And then you gotta play that 7th fret on the A with the ring finger. We'll do that again. Now, at this point, what I want you to do is to visualize that scale pattern. Remember how a second ago we were just playing these notes? The E note and the F note? 7th fret, 8th fret? What I want you to do is to replace these two fingers with these two fingers. So I'm going to go from here to this. And that'll get you into the next position of the lick. Check it out. And then position shift. Replace the ring finger with the pointer finger. Like that. So I didn't change the notes. Same note, just played it with a different finger. And here we're going to play E, F, G. Fret number Y is at 7, 8, and 10. So here's how the lick goes so far. And then I shift. Let me do that again. Now how convenient it is that that puts us right above where we need to be for the next section of the lick. Remember I said a second ago the uh, next octave of A was here on the 7th fret D string? That's right above where we're uh, right below where we just were a second ago. Very convenient. So here's where the next section is going to start. It's the exact same lick. It's the same fingering, same fret spacing. Same everything. And the reason that it is, and this is really important to understand, is that no matter what part of the neck that you're on, no matter what string you're on, no matter if you're playing a bass or a mandolin or a banjo or whatever, the order of the notes never changes. You know, for anywhere that there's an A note, there's a B note two frets above it. Could be here, could be here, could be here, could be here, here. You get the idea. The note order never changes, regardless of what string you're on what instrument you're on, whatever. So keep that in mind too. Okay, so that's how we can play this exact same fingering and everything on this different set of strings and different set of frets because the notes always go in the same order. So here's how it's going to go. We're going to start off here on the 7th fret on the D string. We're going to play A, B, C. So on this string, that's 7, 9, 10. 7, 9, 10 on the next string, that's D, E, F. And then back to the D note. So now I have this. And then do that exact same position shift like you did last time. So again, I replaced my ring finger with my pointer finger. So here's what I got so far, starting from the fifth E. Shift up. New lick. Shift up. And that takes us to the third position of the lick. Now, unlike last time, it's not going to be right under us because of the tuning of the guitar. The next lick is going to start off on the 10th fret B string. So we've got to shift up one fret here to grab that note. No big deal. Uh, but again, it's going to follow the same fingering. This does get a little bit different towards the end, though. Here's how it's going to go. So this lick is starting off like this. We've got to play A, B, C, D, E, F, just like before. Same fingering pattern. And then what we're going to do is shift up to G. That's fret 15. Walk back down to F. Walk back down to E. And then I'm going to play that 15th fret uh, high E string again, that G note, and give it a whole step bend. So let me play that last lick again. 10, 12, 13. Go to the E string, 10, 12, 13. And then I'm going to scooch up here. 15, 13, 12, 13, or sorry, 15 again with a whole step bend. So here's the whole lick in summary. Shift up, shift up, that's 
see the idea. There we go. Let's talk about the right hand next, what the picking's gonna do. So there's a couple of different picking options you could lay out here. I'll show you the way that I'm doing it and then give you some other options too. I'm mostly straight up alternate picking this. So the first lick is going to begin with a down stroke. I'm going to go down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Again, just alternating picking strokes there. This presents a little bit of a problem for some players because uh, if this is the E and this is the A, I'm going to be going down, up, down, and then kind of wasting some motion here and going up, down, up. So, you know, an economy picking dude would just go down, up, down, down, up, down. But I like the rhythm feel of alternating better. Um, we'll talk about that in depth in another video. But myself, I prefer it, even though there's some wasted motion. Down, up, down, up, down, up, like that. Okay, now at this point of the lick is where we have the position shift. And I like to play this starting with an upstroke. Up, down, up. Some players might find that uncomfortable. A lot of guitarists only start licks on downstrokes. Uh, need to get out of the habit of that because sometimes you just have to start licks on ups. That's how it goes. So the picking will go down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Now the advantage of doing that up, down, up is that we don't waste a lot of motion because basically I'm just coming off of a downstroke. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down. So my pick is already below the A string right now. Then I just bring it up to make the next section happen. It's pretty easy. Uh, you don't waste a lot of motion. Another nice thing about that too is if you're going up, down, up, that means the next section of the lick will start off on downstroke. So it feels identical to this. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, down. So if you begin the position shift part of the lick with an upstroke, it'll help you maintain that picking all the way throughout there. And again, that just basically repeats through the lick. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Then the same thing in the next octave. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And then this last part right here, I would go down, up, down, up, down, up. And then this next part, it's really up to you. Um, sometimes I'll just use straight ups. That way I can really choke that string out. And make those notes really uh, punch out at you. You could use downs. You could use alternate. But either way, you'll want to like jam the pick up against the string, like that, in between notes. That way you get that nice chirp. Now when you're playing slow, that's a little obnoxious. But at higher speeds, it sounds really good. It sounds like you're really digging into that. So use whatever you like right there. Ups, downs, ups and downs, whatever. Uh, whatever floats your boat. Like I said, you could economy pick a lot of this and go down, up, down, down, up, down, like that. I'm just not much of an economy picking guy. But if that's what works for you, go for it. Rock it out. That's about it for the right hand. So there you have it, kids. Another sick lick from Weekend Wank Shop that you learned in less time than it took your Uncle Ted to drink that whole bottle of brandy and pass out under the Christmas tree. Again. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Give me some support. Uh, drop me an email at any time. BenEllerGuitars at gmail.com and book some one-on-one -on -one Skype lessons with me. I teach all through the week to people all over the world that suck at guitar, just like you do. Help you out with all of your uh, questions about theory and phrasing and improv and all that good stuff that you need to know about. Uh, like I said, make a video of you playing this lick as best as you can and upload it to Instagram. Hashtag at Weekend Wank Shop. Tag my personal account at Ben Eller Guitars. Good luck, and whoever wins, enjoy my balls. Happy Holidays.